Yeah, give them a little smoke in the front door. Hello, welcome to the Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. Uh, today we're going to go into this hive number 22. Last time I was in it, it was uh, queenless and they were, it was a hot hive. They were really coming after me. So I went ahead and supered it because it had a high population and I did not use an excluder because I put undrawn frame in here. So I don't have to worry about a queen going up in there and laying a bunch of eggs. Last I was in this hive was uh, May 27th. It's June 8th now. So I'm hoping they've calmed down and there's a queen in there. So last time I didn't find a virgin queen or anything. So all I found was a bunch of mean bees. <clears throat> Keeping these blocks of wood on them because it's really hot and uh, humid and it uh, gives them some ventilation. Got a cockroach. Ah! Did I get him? Nope. <laughs> so we'll see if they're working on this uh, honey super drawing it out at all. Here, I'm gonna give them a little smoke here. Doesn't look like they're working on this super at all. I don't see anything drawn out. Hayden smashing high beetles. Okay, as soon as I take this off, uh, Give them a nice, easy cloud of smoke over the top of them. Don't don't force it into them. Just let it kind of drift over them. Scoot back. There, right there. There you go. Okay, looks like we got a pretty strong high with a lot of honey up in here. Well, their disposition this time so far is way better than last time. So they're drawing this out and that's uh, mostly full of nectar. like I did some checkerboarding up here before because this is a undrawn frame that they're working on. Where's the smoke? So this is all honey, honey and nectar. Looks like they're starting to draw this uh, frame out. Damn, that's heavy. 
that's a complete deep frame of honey and nectar there. It is completely full and thick. I bet that weighs close to 15 pounds. I was hoping to see some brood up here. Don't look like we're gonna. All honey. Well, they're going to have some good winter stores, that's for sure. Golly, there's another heavy one. Oh, honey. Same thing. We're going to have to lift this off of here. I need to clean some of that up. one more frame looks like they built wonky comb honey there and then tore it god that's heavy okay we'll cut that off of there Hit him with some smoke there, Hayden. Right on the end? No, in here. That's good. Okay, we're gonna clean up some of this burr comb here. Okay, that's mostly honey. I don't need to pull this frame out, I can see it's mostly honey. Get over here to the other one. Oh, 
all nectar almost all nectar see a little bit of pollen here so maybe we'll have some brood on the next frame ah got nectar on my gloves and they're slippery Looks like maybe a brood frame here. Seeing a little bit of cat brood. And I think I'm seeing some larvae in here. bunch of drone brood there right here yeah see all the white in there oh. it's all larva so we got us a laying queen in here so in the evening this flashlight got that the other day it makes a big difference so uh, you can see in there all the white is larva see if I can get my light on there the white inside those are larva Go one more frame, see what we find. So this frame here is totally full of eggs. See them? Mm -hmm. So this frame here is totally laid out in eggs. See little white dots in there? Little dashes. So we have a laying queen. So right now there's no need to mess with this hive anymore. We've seen what we need to see, so we need to get out of it. And these bees are 10 times less aggressive than they were at least 10 times. They were attacking me like crazy when I was in this last. So that's the difference between a hive having a queen and not. They're really defensive when they don't have a queen. So let's get this put back together. You want to put this frame in there, Hayden? Now set it down where you don't have to drop it. So hold. There you go. You can move faster than that if you want. Yeah. Just just when you get to the oh, okay. So the trick is don't drop it down in there. Is it tight? Yeah. Go ahead and push. Okay. There you go. So now scoot it over. Get it tight against the others. Are your frames all centered now? They should be because we didn't mess with these over here. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to smoke these down and grab that big sucker. That's got to be at least 85, 90 pounds. <laughs> oh. 
get it straight. Okay, you want to get the honey super? I'm hot, how about you? Here, let me show you a trick. Put it on the, in the back first. Get this straight, hold it like that. Mm -hmm. Just move it till it hits. And then set it down. All right. Okay. That's it for this video, hive number 22. It's Queen Wright. We didn't find the queen. That's okay. We've seen she's laying well. A lot of population in there. It's late in the evening and all the bees are in here. So it uh, makes it kind of hard when there's that many bees in the hive doing an inspection like that. But uh, we didn't get buzzed too bad. No stings. It's a good thing. So uh, give us a thumbs up if you liked the video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.